Right, yo, 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 welcome to the Slopo. Well, you're here with me, and today we've got my possibly my favorite deck in format. Little bit of a rogue pick, can be a little bit hard to play, but if little old me can work it out, then I'm sure we're gonna get you playing it as well. So let's have a look. Give it to the guard chop, my champ. Jeez. Let's have a look. Right, now I'm sorry if you can hear the rain. I'm in a conservatory, so it's gonna be, it might get a little bit loud, but that's fine. You can just listen up close to the hot chalk. So here's our main attacker, Garchomp Giratina GX. 270 HP basic Pokemon with three attacks, all of which we can use. We've got linear attack. One uh, For one energy, you do 40 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Okay, it's not bad. You know, one energy attack, little poke, two shot Jirachis and stuff, two shot all evolving, sort of like, um, uh, what's the little Grookey? But this isn't really the build around. Let's keep it moving. So if a Calamitous Slash for one Psychic, one Fighting, one Colorless, you do 160 plus 80 if your opponent's active Pokemon has some damage on them already. So now you can see a little bit of inbuilt synergy between Linear Attack and uh, Calamitous Slash, one of the most coolest attack names in format, by the way. Uh, so you do two, 240 for uh, three. Doesn't seem too great. Uh, it's about the same as Zacian, except we give up three prizes, but we do have some way to manipulate it. But let's keep it moving. GGN Psychic, Psychic color, uh, Fighting. You can discard one of your opponent's. Uh, uh, you can you can discard one of your opponent's Pokemon. I should say this is mainly used for Center Scorch, where you can sort of discard their big Center Scorch, and you can just start slamming through their next ones. No, we don't really use this Jack Sack too often, not gonna lie. But when it does come up, it can be really strong. Uh, if you have up to three fighting extra energy attached. You can discard two opponents Pokemon. This is your out against um, Safeguard Pokemon. So we do kind of have an out. That's our main attacker, the Garchomp Giratina. We've also got Marshadow and Machamp GX. This is to help cover our Turner's matchup and Pequom as well. Um, so he's a basic Pokemon with 270 HP. Three attacks again. We can all use Revenge. For one fight and one curler, you do 30 damage plus 90 if one of your Pokemon was knocked out during your last turn. Uh, 2 for 120 is not bad. It's basically fit into fighting weak stuff, not too shabby at all. Uh, 100 blows impact for fighting, fighting curlers is a flat 160. Really good at dealing with, again, fighting weak stuff and hitting in a sort of middle ground. But one shot's peak one, one shot's uh, Bolton V, one shot's uh, Raichu V Max, and all that good stuff. And then you've got Acmate of Herbicism. Uh, which does three for 200, um, which is nice. That one shot is like a, a turn at V Max. And it's worth knowing that 100 blows impact does one shot a turn at V Max with uh, dojos in play. But uh, Acme of Heroism, if you've got one extra fighting energy attached, you can. Uh, it's like a focus sash effect where you actually can't be killed next turn, you always remain on 10. Pretty cool. Uh, if you can get full value from that Jex against any uh, fighting weak deck in format, you pretty much win the game. And it's actually our go-to uh, strategy for those as well. So you're probably thinking, all right, those attacks are all super costly. How are we getting them? So we're going to play a full 4-4 Magneton with the awesome call ability Call Signal. Uh, once during the turn, you may knock this Pokemon out. If you do, search your deck for three supporter cards and put them in your hand. So if you already know what Surge does, uh, Surge lets you play extra supporters. So you can grab Surge plus two extra supporters that you can all play. And because then we don't have any abilities, in play we can start uh, doing some mad stuff so uh, we'll pop our uh, magneton we'll search out lieutenant surge we'll then search out green's expiration which lets us get two trainers out of our deck one of which normally if you haven't got it already will be karate belt which means um, if we have more prize cards left than our opponent our attacks cost one fighting energy less and all of a sudden, you have to look at these attacks in a new light, right? Because then Calamitous Slash is for one Psychic, one Colorless, which is a lot more better. That's two for 280 in that scenario. Uh, 240, I should say. And then you've got 100 Blows Impact for one Fighting, one Colorless. Or Revenge for one, which is pretty gnarly. So yeah, you probably think, okay, that's all well and good, Shay. But then 240 for two, that's still not cracking it, buddy. Well, if we combine this with Martial Arts Dojo... Uh, which when we're behind on prizes, our attacks will do an extra 40. We're now doing 280 one shots ADP. Pretty scary. But uh, in combination with linear attack, we can now do 320 right into a VMAT. So let's say uh, we're going for, uh, it's our first turn going second. We hit a center scorch V for 40 with linear attack. They start messing about. Our next turn, Calamitous Slash for with Dojo in play does 280. That's 320 damage in total and we can one-shot the Center Scorch. Uh, against Eternatus, we can just bum-rush them with Machamp. Um, 
against ADP, we can quickly kill their ADP. We're actually outside of a Zacian range as well. So all we have to do then is get damage onto Zacian. And to do that, we play one Zigzagoon and one Scoop Up Net. So it's actually a really cool sequency kind of deck. Once you learn the sequence, it's really fun to play. Uh, and that's why it's my favorite deck in format. But I'll shut up now. Let's get into some games. So it looks like we lost a coin flip. Hopefully our opponent will opt to go first. No, they let us go first. Okay. So if we just get that Magneton and energy, uh, we're fine. We miss energy, which is rough. Uh, hopefully we can top deck spinner or energies. Uh, they have a Mulligund, which is kind of annoying. But let's see if we can grab energy. Oh, we get energy off the top. Well, it's got an all dark deck box. I'm assuming this is going to be Eternatus V Max. And I think that's a fairly safe assumption. In which case, it's glad that we've got Mars Shadow Machamp down, right? Uh, Magnemite should be safe from being KO. So we think we're safe to spinner. Uh, we'll take Fighting. We've actually got Karate Belt and Dojo, which is all like really nice. We've got a greens. I um, think I'm trying to actually hold this hand so we hopefully don't get Marnie. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we'll do that. I'm just going to close uh, the music because it's a bit loud. Hopefully, again, you don't hear the rain too much, guys. I apologize. But uh, there's a Cynthia and Caitlyn. So now I'm actually thinking maybe it's not Eternatus. Does Eternatus play Cynthia and Caitlyn? It's a dark energy. Okay, so we just win this game. <laughs> so we we have uh, won this game. Uh, we'll leave this in because it shows how insanely good. Uh, so what do we actually need here? We don't even need... Oh, wait. Do we win this game? We have to find... Da, 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 da. So we've got energy. We take that off. Yeah, so we don't, we don't even need spinner. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's take tag call. Yeah, I don't think we need spinner, right? So we'll Evo Incense, take Magneton, uh, attach Belt, evolve into Magneton. Uh, we will then attach Energy, knock ourselves out. <clears throat> um, we will take, doesn't really matter, Surge Green's boss. I hope I haven't been silly, but uh, yeah, we should be able to do 100 blows impact now, right? I hope we should be able to put dojo yeah so that just goes to show you the sequence in a minute all goes right uh, let's just keep it moving our opponent puts down the glorian slow bro and the toxicity v so now i figure okay it's going to be toxicity v max now uh, on face value, this can be quite scary because toxicity v max can throw down a lot of damage uh, a lot faster than we might be able to throw it back but luckily, because it's got 320 HP, that means the maths works out perfectly to where we can linear attack it, have a dojo in play, and then Calamitous slash it afterwards. And provided he, um, our opponent doesn't get too many poison ticks, we can actually, you know, survive the big kick. I think it does 240 G Max Riot. So um, a little bit of a scary matchup, not one I really planned for, but I instantly sort of knew that was going to be our sort of game plan. So. Uh, our top deck was Dojo, not the greatest. I mean, it's usable in this situation. No need to do it. Uh, I ended up putting down the second Magnemite just because um, in case, you know, they boss his orders KO one, which would be quite annoying. So you put down two. And then we do get the linear attack into the bench toxicity. Um, <clears throat> that's just double speed energy. So his hand is like massive. Uh, there's a yell horn, which I couldn't believe. I was playing on my tablet at this moment in time. That's why the confusion thing pops up. I was confused. The tablet was confused as well. <laughs> but um okay so there's the bird keeper as well bird keeper into galarian slow burn now this is what was a bit uh, i saw this sort of a bit anxious about here is because um the poison ticks right we can only we can't really afford to carry too many of them but luckily <laughs> there's the poison thing as well luckily we do have a switch into screw pump net combo so we can uh, get around that poison our opponent V Max is on the bench as a quick ball. So I imagine he's probably for a Dene now. I think about it. And our opponent's in a pretty decent spot here. You know, turn two, Toxicity V Max. You can't really last more than this. Galarian Slow Burn, the active. Um, Toxicity V Max with two energy down. Um, you know, they had a big hand size as well. I guess the only thing they really miss is like a Dark City. But they end up passing now. Interesting. Okay, Tool Scrapper off the top. Okay. Uh, I mean, if the Galarian Slow Burn had an for every reason, that could have been quite good. But it doesn't. So I'm just thinking, right, what do we do? We can bench Ziggy to get an extra bit of damage in play, but I kind of want to hold on to that because um, Toxicity VMAX can 
um, sort of get another threat going quite quick, right? Let's say we dispatch the first Toxicity V, Max taking sort of bench, another Toxicity V, um, Dance of the Ancient onto it, attach, all of a sudden we got another one where we're staring down. So I kind of want to hold that Ziggs Goon for being able to um, hit the next threat um, on the assumption that we get through the first threat, to be honest with you. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to work out, and I don't want to leave the Magnemite in the active to take the poison tick ticks. That's exactly what I choose to do as well. Oh, what do you think of the headset, guys? See how it's channel colors, purple and blue, baby. You know how we do. I guess pink and blue now, to be fair. Pink, purple. I'll let you decide what you think the channel colors are. <laughs> so our opponent has three speed energies on the Toxicity VMAX. So our boss's orders would be incredibly scary. <laughs> uh, I mean, it, it wouldn't actually KO us. Look, oh, I guess we're not poisoned either, so I guess it wouldn't be as scary. Come on, that like, yell horn, though. That's uh, that's interesting. And Great Ball. I think he played three Great Balls turn one, didn't they, I think? And there's the next Toxicity V. So that's what that's why I held, held. Oh, I'm pronouncing my words funny today. Too, too late for me. <laughs> Uh, that's why we held the uh, Galarian Zigzagoon, just so we can ding that. So, as it stands now, if we top out something good, we can be in the game. Magneton is 100% perfecto, let me tell you. So, uh, <laughs> so, I'm just trying to work out exactly what we do. I think we always bench the Zigzagoon, because we actually don't need to um, have any extra damage on Toxicity V Max. So I just want to ding that now, just so we can get a good bit of extra damage in. We already have Dojo in hand, which is one of the parts of the puzzle that we look for to really hit into these uh, VMAXs hard. So we probably take Surge, Greens, and uh, maybe Greens again. Or we could take Research, because our hand will be quite empty after that. And I think that's actually what we choose to do here. And if you wanted to like really start setting some extra stuff up, we could have went for the um, another Greens. Maybe like get out if you want to start, you know, using stamps and stuff. But there's the Surge. Where's the green? This green is going to search energy spinner and karate belt. So then we can do calamitous slash for two. We actually, prize the karate belt as well, which is a bit scary. Good thing we didn't prize two. Uh, so, yeah, so now we're going to search out for psychic. Yeah, we're going to take out the psychic, even though we actually don't need it. Do we know we, need, we do need it for the attack cost? Sorry, but it's always worth um, noting with this deck if you can get the psychics on early. That means you can have access to your GG end if you need it. So there's a top tip for you playing this deck. If you have the option to attach Psychic or Fightings, turn one or turn two, always go for the Psychic. <clears throat> we actually draw into the reset stamp, which is pretty gnarly. Um, wouldn't mind putting that Power Pack in play, but obviously we did put Dojo in play for the KO, so that's fine. We can bench the um, Tina just in case shenanigans happen. Now we would have rather that be a Marsh Champ, to, in all honesty, just so we have access to a Revenge. Uh, if it comes to it, but we haven't got that. So now I'm just going to do some deck thinning with greens decks. And that's something that uh, is super important with greens decks. If you haven't got the greens or stuff in hand or poker gears, make sure you do as much thinning as possible because you saw that all you need is one card with green decks. You can execute your game plan really fast. So that sort of deck thinning is super important. And there's the concede. And I'll tell you what, that's actually what tends to happen a lot with this deck. You will quickly dispatch your opponent's first threat. And because Garchomp Goatin is super tanky, a lot of decks can't like reach into it. Let's say against ADP, you carry the ADP. Uh, Zacian can't one-shot you. You can just then goon, uh, bench goon, kill the Zacian, and they're like, and, and then they just goon. It happens a lot. But I've got some more games where you can see some other game plans with this deck, okay? All right, so here's our last game in. Against the Turnus, I wanted to show you different player styles. So against against the Turnus, we want to completely forego uh, Garchomp Giratina and just try and solo with a Marsh Machamp. Um, and I tell you what, with Acme, Acme of Heroism, is actually rather interesting. If the Eternatus player doesn't play much Energy XL, you can really stick it to him. So let's see what's going on here. So it looks like we are going first, second, I should say. I'll put Lee Sable IV, which is actually kind of interesting. Lee Sable IV is actually pretty good against my champ, in all honesty, but obviously they play so many goons and that so let's see our hand actually isn't too bad we got a quick ball we probably get rid of what surges to grab ourselves excuse me marsh champ we miss energy which is actually like super annoying because we uh, that is one problem with this deck we are stuck seeing one energy a turn we need to attach one energy a turn uh you can play b like i've said before but uh i wouldn't really recommend it because i haven't got a free retreater and you can't be to the active now. Uh, luckily for us, though, our opponent uh, looks like they're going to go a bit greedy, idea, and uh, they want to start piling damage into Magnemites. And I'm not going to lie, you Eternatus players out there, you do seem to do this a lot, where you just slam down your goons uh, really early for no apparent reason. So 
AIG spinner off the top is a fantastic top deck though because then we can go grab ourselves Marchamp um, and attach to it so I think we probably get rid of the turn surge strategy we can't really afford to get rid of dojo we can actually get rid of energy off this uh spinner as well uh, kind of annoying though we actually need dojo in play to one shot on the turners with 100 blows impact which is silly to think about 160 times two isn't a ko like nuts but um no, it's just that's just the game we're playing right now <laughs> Now, the only scary thing about going down this route uh, against Eternus, and it does make me think that you might want to maybe consider playing Big Charm in your list, is just because uh, if they can just boss his orders this turn and carry the Marsh Champ, which is possible, uh, we're in a bit of a tough spot, but equally, uh, if we make Eternus, you know, have to fill their bench to seven, turn two um, with a bosses as their supporter, you know what? If they have it, they have it <laughs> at the end of the day. So uh, looks like we greens this turn. Uh, what are we taking here? Probably take well, okay. We take tag call. Cool. It's annoying that power plant doesn't shut off. Uh, looks like we're gonna take karate belt. That's interesting. It does get punished by tool scrapper, but I think at this moment in time, I'm just gonna assume that they're not playing tool scrapper. But anyway, we don't actually have to attach the uh karate belt this turn either. We could hold it. So it just, just looks like I want a deck thin because we're guaranteed to get a magneton off next turn outside of Marnie. So yeah, they've got a free card hand, so. Here's a Pokemon communication from our opponent. They get rid of an evil Abdonation Hooper, which is quite funny because that's going to do absolutely nothing against us. Uh, and there's the Crobat. So they did get an energy on that turn. So they, chances are they are going to hit us for a dread end for a lot of damage. Whether or not it's going to be into Marsh Champ, that is the question. There's the switch. Um, so they still need a VMAX to like, do you know significant damage. Um, they haven't played support yet though, so you know it's possible. Um, and then playing all those zigzagoons, clogging up the bench, which is kind of interesting. But excuse me, but they do find the turn as VMAX, but they had to research into it. So now I'm fairly comfortable now that our Marsh Champ will be able to take us the distance. Purely because we've got everything we need in hand. We've got the quarter bolt, we've got the energy, we've got the dojo. We actually need a lot, <laughs> which is kind of silly. So we can attach Karate Belt, attach that, uh, attach Dojo. We can Magneton for two uh, trainers. What are we taking here? So we've already got Surge in hand, but you can take out to Depth and Research Green's boss. Um, is that, uh, that the correct? Because our opponent actually hasn't got down another Eternatus V, uh, which is one of the problems of them filling up their bench so early, is because they actually had to, they actually discarded one with that Professor's V. I was not sure if you saw, but they got started they discarded one. So I think in this scenario, it's pretty much checkmate. Um, the only way they can actually they they can actually KO um, our Machamp next turn is like stuff like bead or turbo patch into Sableye with some nets. And here you can see I'm actually really struggling on what to pick here uh, with these greens. Let's go. I'm not going to lie to you. Every search is like mega important. Okay, I'm not going to lie to you. So it's like super important because you can just lose the game like there and then if you uh, choose wrong. Um, so we do give up the prize. I'm guessing we're going to uh, surge um, greens for like stamp, maybe. Yep, so we're going to surge. I think we'll play the surge. That's it. There you go. <laughs> uh, with greens. So I'm guessing we probably take stamp. Uh, I take Evo Incense. That's to improve top decks, probably. I guess we have to take stamp. Right? Their hand is ginormous. Uh, that's exactly what we do. Either way, just to improve our top. So we're probably going to end the turn with a research, which is fine by me as well. Uh, we've already attached energy this turn, so there's no point in getting energy out with energy spinner. So I'm just trying to work out if we've already attached energy. Look, <laughs> I've been thinking so much of the greens. Okay, but we um, okay, so we should have actually either went sensed out a magnet on there, but you know, neat. Maybe we want to keep it in deck. So we can do another Magneton if need be. So there we go. So now in this situation, this game is pretty much over. We've lopped off their bench as well. I mean, I guess they can put one more Pokemon down because they have to promote, but I don't see how we lose this game. And that's how a lot of these Eternals games go. You carry their first rep because even if they did have another Eternals on the bench, they can't dread end this turn. So they have to like, you know, do some shenanigans. And then on the next turn, at me of heroism, um, 
which means you can't be KO'd. You take another two prize. You try and line up another Magneton so you can boss into exactly what you want. And I tell you now, Eternus is actually a fairly good matchup for this. Probably one of the best matchups you got, in all honesty. You got a really good Eternus. Center Scorch is a bit, you know, 50 50. You know, I think I'll probably see a slightly unfavorable probably the Center Scorch. If you play it correctly and they play it wrong, you can easily win. And then ADP is a really good matchup as well. But uh, let's have a look at the list then, shall we? Right then, so here's the full list. We play two of each of our attacking tag teams. I think that's a fine number. We play one Goon, uh, four Magneton, and four Magnemite. The reason you play such a high count of them is I, I like to say when you're playing Greens, you like to take pressure off your Greens, okay? Um, if you don't have to make one of your Greens targets Evo Incense, if you've already got the Magneton in hand, you, you don't have to, you know, your Greens could be searching out some of your disruption and stuff, right? Like your Tool Scrapper if you play it, or your um, Dojo, which you might need to get a big KO, or your Reset Stamp, right? So I say take pressure off your Greens wherever you can, and I think playing four Magaton lets you do that. Now, if you didn't want to play goons, you can, because yeah, obviously if you lead goons, it's pretty much a death sentence if you haven't got the one scoop up net in your hand. There is a Roxy version, which I'll quickly show you at the end as well, where you can sort of chop and change some cards a little bit. I'll talk to you about that afterwards. But um, yeah, that's our Pokemon anyway. I'm going to play four energy spinner just because if you can get it turn one going second, you just pretty much energy for the whole game. Uh, we play four Eva incense again so we can take pressure off the green. So we've got eight outs to our Magneton. I cannot stress how important turn two Magneton is, which is why I play so many outs to it. One power pad so we can get back those bosses or our greens most likely, or our surges as well. Uh, four poke just to find our greens. Uh, four quick ball. There's no explanation needed there. We need to get Magnemite down. Getting Magnemite down turn one is such like a. Ooh, so good if you can do it, sir. One reason, and I've been a bit cheeky here. The original list played three bag times, but I bumped up to four and cut a stamp. Uh, if you want to play two stamps, I'm 100% for that. If you can fit it in, fit it in, because it's two stamps is pretty nice, especially if you prize one. Uh, two switch, one tackle. Seems a little bit low, but for the most part, you only need, you only need to search for your tag teams once. And we're not playing tag team supporters, so I think one tackle will take pressure off your quick ball is fine. Uh, we play two martial arts dojo. Dojo is so important, hitting that 280, um, which is a really nice number, obviously, you know, uh, the ADPs and other tag teams, so that's pretty cool. Uh, one power plant just a lop off the Dene, as you saw in the games, how impactful that can be. I wouldn't mind a second, in all honesty. Uh, two bosses, wouldn't mind a third. Third or a great catcher, I think, could be quite decent. Because you can greens out great catcher on the Dene, right? Or the tag teams. Uh, four greens, exploration. It's the heart and blood of the deck. I wish you could play, like, six. <laughs> yeah, two surges is fine, because you always search them out if you need them. Two professors research. Three karate belts. Um, five fighting energy and four sidekicks. So yeah, if you didn't, if you didn't want to take the risk on leading goon without the scoop up, let, let me show you the Roxy version as well. Right, so here's the Roxy version that we've got. We've got three of these uh, wheezing now blow away bomb, uh, which when discarded with the effects of Roxy, you can put one damage counter on all of your opponent's Pokemon. Pretty sweet to be fair. Probably better than Zigzagoon, but obviously it's a little bit harder. It relies on your support for the turn to get the damage into play. So in order to obviously get damage into play, we now play two Roxies. And with Magneton, it's not too bad. You can always search out the uh, Roxy if needed. And then you can always greens out your Evo incense if you haven't got the wheezing in hand. So yeah, that's the list uh, if you want to play uh, wheezing over zigzagoons. You end up not playing research instead. But yeah, I've always valued greens that's guys like being able to control the game, you know, do what I want to do exactly when I want to do it. And greens lets me do that as much times as possible, which is why it'll always be my favorite deck engine until it rotates. Thank you so much for watching. What do you think about Team and Trump? I think it's probably the best outside rogue pick in format right now, and I'm playing it a hell of a lot. So thank you for watching. If you're after more TCG content and you got this far, hit that subscribe button. You must enjoy it. <laughs> for a new video out every day, pack openings, deck profiles, OP, OP league content. If you're after some fire merch, check the link out there in the description. And if you're after some um, codes and other singles in the UK, check out JGC Collectibles and use discount code SLOPO5 for 5% off. But thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.